Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So my friend is getting married next year and I said I'd make them some ring boxes. I'm going to keep it pretty rustic, so I'm going to raid my firewood pile and see what I can find in the garage. So I've got a couple of logs off the firewood pile and a bit of old growth reclaimed pine which is so much heavier than anything you get these days. Now I need to flatten one side of these logs. So I could do it on the planer. I think that'd be dangerous. So I'm gonna do it on the bandsaw. I can use one of these clamps to hold it. And this has a flat edge, but I need to extend the fence to run it along. So I'm just gonna put this scrap of MDF with some double-sided sticky tape onto the fence. And then I can have a go at cutting these. So I like the look of the bark on these, but unfortunately it's peeling off. So I'm gonna to have to get it all taken off. When the bark's off, I can then flatten up this edge using the belt sander. The three log ones are all a bit long, so I'm gonna use the mitre gauge on the bandsaw to get them cut to length. So the plan is to cut these open so they hinge. With these ones, I want to hinge them on this side, but with these longer ones, I want the hinges going along this side. So on this log one, I'm going to need to put a flat spot for the hinge, so I'm going to do that on the disc sander. All these can now be cut open on the bandsaw. Now, I've done a few here, and I was kind of expecting to mess it up, so we'll see what we're left with at the end. When I've got them cut open, then I'm going to need to clean up that cut again using the belt sander. So now with them cut open, I need somewhere to put the rings and I'm going to use a falsner bit to put some holes in. In the bigger ones, I'm going to put two holes for the bride and groom. And in the smaller ones, I'm just going to put one hole for the bride and then they've got some options. I think I'm then I'm going to have another go at using the Arbortech ball gouge and carving out a bigger dish in them. So we'll see how that goes. I ended up not having any casualties and all these came out fine. So I've got a few more of these ring boxes that I actually intended to have. So I'm gonna have a bit of an experiment and play with finishing. First, I'm gonna have a go at burning one of them um, and then I can get them all finished. No, I'm not gonna get them all finished. I'm gonna get a few finished with tongue oil and I'm gonna leave a couple bare because then I can send them to my friend with a carving chisel and then he can add the initials in if he wants to. Right, the finish is dry, so now I'll get the hardware fitted. And what I've got is some antique kind of bronze style hinges that I can get screwed on. And then I've got these little latches that go on the front to keep them closed. Will you subscribe to my channel? So that's them all done and my friend has quite a selection to choose from. He can use one of the ones I finished or carve some initials and finish one himself. So thank you for watching 
Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.